Okay, jerky loving people, this is Jerky Junkie Jr. Uh, haven't posted a lot of videos lately. I've been quite busy with work and working around the house, so haven't had a chance. I've actually made some videos, but haven't been able to load them up. But should be working on that this weekend, and hopefully I get back to you guys. Um, with some videos, a couple of jerkies from international just because i bought a couple from mexico and did a couple in mexico and then actually found a beef jerky shop ish here locally in oceanside actually so that's actually what i will be um presenting today they don't make their own beef jerky but they do sell um jerkies from locally and a little bit out of town and over in Barstow, one really famous one that I'll get to you um, and after this. But anywho, this is going to be a spicy um, test and review of jerkies. These are three that are supposed to be spicy. So again, this is a local beef jerky shop that is in Oceanside, California. It's off of Mission and Douglas. Um, it's right at the corner. There's a gas station and next to the gas station, there's a small little, uh, store that sells the beef jerky. It kind of, they have quite, quite, quite a few different kinds. I bought three. So let's get to it. First one is a Papa Dan's America's beef jerky. Number one or America's number one beef jerky, premium beef jerky. It's a flavored ring of fire. So this is, again, this is Papa Dan's, America's number one beef jerky. This is made out of Fullerton, California. So go ahead and try this. Um, the thick is a little, the thick, the cut is a little thick. So that's pretty good. It's going to be a little chewy, a little bit on the fresher side rather than uh, dry. Um, I, by the name of it and by the look of it, I'm pretty sure it's going to be spicy. Um, if you can tell, it's got a lot of chili flakes, a lot of seeds. Smells a little hickory-ish. So, oh man, my mouth's watering. So let's go ahead and try this. See how it cuts open. It's very um, tissuey. You can get all the fibers. So it's a little on the fresher side, which is good. Um, so at the beginning, get that hickory flavor, smoky. The spice begins to creep up a little bit. Definitely not a sweet jerky. That's good. You can taste some vinegar. It's pretty good. It actually reminds me of... One of my favorite um, marinades or jerkies that I've uh, tasted before in an alien jerky, which I will get to a little later. All right, so Papa Dan's, it's nice. It's on the fresher side rather than super dry and crunchy like most Mexican jerkies, but it's pretty good. Actually tastes exactly <coughs> like that. Uh, alien jerky and um which i'll get back to you later so the next jerky that i have is hot hard times real beef jerky again i bought this at that same beef jerky store in oceanside california this is from el reno oklahoma so we've gone a little bit out of california with this one it's pretty good it's a uh, smoke flavored um, attention jerky lovers, our meat is sliced, not pressed, hand trimmed, not formed, and a toothpick in every pack. Oh, wow, look at that. That is a nice, nice um, feature, nice little detail to add because, at least for me, I eat jerky and I get it stuck all in my teeth and it is annoying. But can't resist it. I love beef jerky. So this actually has <clears throat> a telephone number to call the 
owner regarding this jerky. If you have any questions or comments. It's a little difficult to open here. <coughs> All right, and again, this is a spicy jerky. This is a little drier. It's thinner than the other Papa Dan's that we've had, but you can tell it also has the chili flakes, the chili seeds. So assuming it'll be uh, spicy. This one doesn't smell as hickory, smoky-ish. Oh man. Wow. This is really good. It's not overwhelmingly spicy. Uh, Papa Dan's was a lot spicier, but man, it has a really good flavor. Salty. The cut itself, like I said, is thinner. It's easier to chew. It's a little drier than the other one as well. Mm. I like this. I really do. Wow. Again, my taste buds are really salty, so I, I enjoy the saltiness. But no, this is really good. Really, really good. Hmm. Might have to start looking into that. This has a tamarind extract seasoning flavor. Wow, this is really good. Add a little bit of lemon and it all will be perfect. All right, that was Hot Hard Times from Oklahoma. Really good, really good. All right, to finish off, I'm going to go over one of the most, at least here in California, one of the most, or for those people who have gone to Vegas from LA, San Diego, that you got to cross a little town, a town called Baker, California. It's called Alien Fresh Jerky. Again, this is made and packaged and sold actually in Baker, California. And this is the Weed Killer Hot Beef Jerky. For those of you who are familiar with Alien Jerky, they do have a certain flavor that, oh, for those of you who love spicy, that is one spicy jerky, and it's a. Uh, it's called uh, colon cleaner, hot. So you can imagine how spicy that is. Um, I bought a bag about this size, and I can normally eat one of these bags in like ten minutes. I've had a bag like that for about a month, just because it's so spicy. But it's a good. Good, good, good spicy. So, all right. Again, this is the Alien Fresh Jerky. The best jerky in the universe. So not just the best jerky in California. Not the best jerky in the States. Not the best jerky in the world. But the universe, all right? Um, I've already had this jerky before. This is one of my favorite seasonings for... Uh, alien jerkies and like I said earlier with the Papa Dan's it almost tastes identical so I wouldn't be surprised if the seasonings are the same the texture on these two are identical so it's a thicker cut very um, flaky with chilies very um, chili crumbs seeds so as I took it out it spilled some out but again, this is a thicker cut, not like the hot, hard times. But let's go ahead and try this. On the contrary to the Dan, the Papa Dan's, this one's not as hickory flavored. So um, you can taste the chili a little bit more. Um, definitely a lot drier. And this is 
this cut on this meat is almost seems like a ball top, top round cut just the way it, the way you um it cuts off almost looks like a top round cut so this is a little has a little sweet kick to it but definitely spicy pretty good all of you who are on your way to vegas make try to make an effort to stop at a alien jerky nowadays i believe even in like going into vegas you can buy it at like 7-elevens and stuff like that they started to sell them out there but if you get a chance to actually stop at the alien jerky store it's, it's a pretty nice experience eh? it's full of jerky they have uh nuts and seeds and all that other stuff but it's a pretty fun experience so go ahead and um make a effort to stop there all right guys so that was our three jerkies for this trip again these were all purchased at a local store in oceanside california the called the beef jerky shop or something like that i'll post a link to the um comments of this the description of the video and if you guys are in town or you guys are local here in san diego and you guys are beef jerky lovers like i am go ahead and make a stop there they have pretty good prices too it's reasonable this alien jerky you can get two packs for 15 and i believe most of them are like that so i got these two for 15 bucks so it's pretty good all right guys so that's it for today uh go ahead and click like subscribe for the channel and we'll see you again peace